What's up everyone, this is X-Ray Maps and welcome to another iPhone tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to put your costume, your own ringtones, on your iPhone. And this works for all songs that you have on your computer. And we are only going to need our computer, um, except for when we are syncing down the ringtone to the phone. And this works for all devices except the iPod Touches because you don't have ringtones there. And we are going to need our computers and you have to have iTunes. But if you have an iPhone, you probably will have iTunes. And I'm doing this on Windows, but it might is the same for Mac. It's pr it should be pretty much the same. So let's get into this tutorial. The first thing that you have to do is to go to your computer and open up iTunes. Then you want to search the song that you want as your ringtone, which in my case is Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Then you want to right click, right click so to bring up this menu and click Get Info. And then this menu will pop up. Click Options. And here you will see these two options, start time and stop time. So what you want to do is, you probably want to have the first, uh, because you you can't have the whole song, you can only have like 30 seconds of it, which in my case is the first 30 seconds, and it will probably be for you as well. So what you want to do is you want to type in 0 colon 29 just to be sure and then you want to click OK so you might notice that when I typed in 0 colon 29 this box was checked and that is the way it should be so go ahead and don't do anything here and here type in 0 colon 29 and now what you want to do is you want to right click this again to bring up the menu and click create AAC version and now iTunes will sort of make a new file but as you can see it is only the um, <clears throat> the part of the song that we chose which in my case was the first 29 seconds so the first song here you can go ahead and right click it again on the first song the original song go ahead and click uh, go ahead and right click choose options and then uncheck this box and then click OK because otherwise this song will also be 29 seconds long and we only want to have one that is 29 seconds long because that is the actual ringtone and this is the original song so this is the actual ringtone. So then what you want to do is you want to right click on it again and click show in Windows Explorer. Now you will see where the song is saved. As you can see I have two of them. But as you can see when you click this you can see that it says on um, length it says 6 minutes and 29 seconds so that's the wrong one. But if we choose this one, it says 28 seconds, so that is the right one. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you have selected the one that is only 29 seconds long. Then what you want to do is you want to right click it, just click it again, and then you want to change the file format. Instead, instead of M4A, you want to remove the A and type in R instead so dot M4R click enter and yes when the warning message comes up so now we're actually done then what you want to do uh, you might can't see this uh, the actual file format on the name but then I will post it in the video description on how to fix that so go ahead and check out the video description if you don't know how to bring up the file format. So when you have renamed it to .m4r instead, 
um, for M4A, you want to go ahead and go back to iTunes, click ringtones up here to the left, ringtones, and here are all your here are all my ringtones. Then what you want to do is you want to bring up this where it is saved, and you simply want to drag it to the ringtones. So now it's here with on my ringtones menu. As you can see, where is it? It is right there. There it is. You probably can't see it. And then what you want to do is you want to. I'm not going to sync it down just for the tutorial, but you probably know how to sync your device. And then what you want to do is you want to sync down the ringtone to your iPhone. And then you want to go to your iPhone and go into settings. I can do it for you. So go to your iPhone, uh, bring up the settings application, and you, you can see that my device is jailbroken, but you don't have to have that. So bring up the settings menu, click sounds. And go to ringtone, and now you will see a new sort of section called custom. So here's the custom ringtones that you have imported from iTunes, and it should be right here. And then you just check it, and now you're done. So that is how to get your own custom ringtones on your iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, doesn't matter, through iTunes and. Um, yeah, so that basically very easy tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment because it's better that you post your question down here instead of judging the video first. Because I might mistaken in this video, then I will just answer you and it will be fixed. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.